Let's understand equilibrium interest rate models the Wasicek way. To create an equilibrium model, step one is to make assumptions about economic variables. From these, in step two, we derive a process for the short-term interest rate. And once we have this process working, in step three, we draw out implications for bond and option prices. Specifically, the Wasicek model, based on compelling economic arguments, arrives at this idea that interest rates, they do not vary wildly. Instead, interest rates, they tend to mean revert, which means that if interest rates are too high, this will slow down the economy, reduce the demand for funds and cause the interest rate to come down. If interest rates are too low, this will increase the demand for funds and hence increase interest rates. To capture this behavior of mean reversion, this is the process which the Wasicek model proposes for the evolution of the short rate. This is a very simple process. It relies on only three model parameters, which are respectively the speed of mean reversion, the long run rate to which mean reversion happens, and a constant volatility sigma. Given we only have three model parameters in this model, we actually lack the flexibility to exactly match the term structure of interest rates. And therefore, when we come to this step three, the fit to the observed term structure of interest rates is rather approximate. Compare this to a no arbitrage model such as the Holy model. In this model, its specification includes this time-dependent drift, which gives this model ample flexibility to exactly match the term structure of interest rates. And therefore, this kind of a model is better suited for the purpose of pricing and hedging interest rate derivatives. So remember this, that an equilibrium model, it starts with an assumption about the economy or economic variables. From this, it's able to weave out a story about how rates move or evolve with time. Such a model is not best suited for pricing and hedging interest rate derivatives, but still an equilibrium model is great for the purpose of teaching, for benchmarking more complex models, and for real life tasks such as stress testing and scenario analysis.